And it's Terry Cope. And on Valentine's Day, I was diagnosed with cancer of the brain and of the uh, in my liver. No, my chest. Lung cancer. Uh, they gave me three months to live, which is about two weeks from today. I'm supposed to be being buried. The oncologist said that's only if you start on radiation tomorrow and chemotherapy the next day. Other than that, you won't have that long. Uh, I lost my brother with lung cancer and brain cancer. And I said, I watched him die taking chemotherapy and radiation. I told my wife, I'll, I'll die naturally before I'll allow him to it. The next morning, this lady from our church came in the room. She had heard about it. And she says, I want you to meet this man before you, before you do anything. And then she gave me his history. He's the top nutritionist in the nation. He has a top vitamin product in the nation. He's a nutritionist for the Phoenix Suns. So I said, I'll go. I checked myself out of the hospital at 12 o'clock that night so I could be there at 9 o'clock in the morning. We got there, he analyzed me. He says, we can take care of this. I said, well, let's go for it. He gave me a regimented schedule about diet, vitamin supplement program, told me to go to work on it. Well, unfortunately, even though I was doing that, I was still deteriorating. I got to the point where I was almost comatose. I'd pass out at any, any year in the world of time and had no control of my system. Then I heard about this clinic that does intravenous uh, vitamins into your veins. So I went there and I started that program. Between the two of them, I started getting some, somewhat more life back in me, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything rapid. Well, my wife had been bringing this water home from this clinic. It was the Kanjin water. But when she'd get it there, we'd put it in a water cooler. And by the time she put it on the cooler, it was like two days old already. And so I wasn't feeling anything. My mother heard about Kanjin water and she bought a machine and started breaking it over to me on a daily basis, fresh. Two days, I was up at work. I knew what was going on. A week, I was using the cane instead of a wheelchair. Um, what did she say, three weeks? It's been about three weeks. About, it's been about three weeks. And I have... That you've been drinking all, fresh Kangen water and... I have all my facilities. I have my thought pattern. I don't have any blackouts. I don't have any seizures. Um, I flew over here in a private plane to see the factor. And... My thinking thought process is still a little bit slow because part of my brain is that thinking process that has a cancer in it. That has well, it still has a shell. The cancer's gone. I'm sure that's. I believe that it's gone, and I contributed 100 yeah. percent to Kangen water. I drank 10 gallons a day. Wow, well, that's I figured, true. Wow. That if I wash my system with it, well, about three days ago, before that, my kidneys, I. I could hardly urinate. Three days ago, all of a sudden, just changed. I could urinate a stream across the room now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever I'm stop drinking this water? Hey. I absolutely <laughs> never stop drinking. I bought two machines for my house. I'm putting a third in tomorrow. Wow. 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 It's amazing. I feed it to my animals. I feed it to my chickens. I feed it to my horses. Oh, I, every one of my children bought one. Beautiful. Uh, what do you want to tell the people out there? Um, that have uh, similar uh, well, symptoms as you. If, you. if you can alkaline yourself, you'll get well. Wow. I'm a testimony of that. Uh, documentation beats the conversation all day long. I love it. And the fact that if anybody wants to contact me about it, I've got testimony from 
In fact, I'll introduce you to my nephew, who would witness, and my sister-in-law, who will witness to the experience that I had. And you can have that on your video, also. And you flew in from where? I flew in here from Phoenix, Arizona. Just to check out the corporate warehouse? Yes. Wonderful.